So now we are going to use the emitter, uh, the fake gravity that we can apply in emitter and metabol to create a liquid like effect. So liquid like effect is really good when you use real flow and other applications. But uh, if you want to get with simple uh, type of a liquid, then cinema, the cinema 4D works just fine. So for that, I'm going to go over here on to the emitter. So I'm going to create an emitter first uh, from the simulate. So I'm going to go over here on to particles and under particles, I'm going to choose emitter. So once you do that, you can see that I have emitter going around here. So let's say this is like the source of the liquid that I'm working with. So I'm just going to move it off this side right over here and uh, rotate this around just like that. Let me just change the frame size to around 1000 right here and let me just uh, play this. So if I were to play it, you can see that the emission uh, really happens just like that. So it is quite straight as you can see right here. So let me grab um, a spear right here. So I'm going to change the spear segments around 8 so that it takes less, less processing power and I'm going to reduce its size just like this. I'm going to put the spear as style of an emitter right here and then I'm going to go on to the emitter uh, and then click on show object. So it actually shows up like this. So let me just decrease the size of the spear right here and this is how everything works out just like this. I want to increase the lifespan right now. The stop emission is 150 so I'm going to change this out uh, to something like around a thousand just like this so and once you go over here play this around you can see that the emission actually happens just like this so now what I want to do is I want to apply metabol onto this so I'm going to go over here uh, and then apply metabol under the emitter and you can see that this happens so there's a liquid like simulation going on right over there but it does not really look like a liquid. So I'm going to go over here on to the uh, metabol and I'm going to increase the uh, hall value right here. So let me just increase the hall value that is decrease. Sorry, if I were to decrease, you can see that it sticks uh, with the balls more to, uh, like that. And if I were to play it, you can see that now it looks more like a liquid coming out. So if I were to play it, you can see that it looks more like a liquid now, just like that. I can also increase the uh, editor subdivision. So if I were to increase this, you can see that it looks more like a liquid now. So if I were to play it, you can see that this is how it actually looks like now. It looks more like a liquid, just like that. Now, what I want to do is I want to apply gravity to this as well. So I'm going to go over here on the uh, simulate again, and I'm going to go to uh, my uh, not over here. I'm going to go over here and then create uh, the gravity. So gravity is on simulate on uh, all right. So forces and here you go. There's the gravity right over here. So let me just click on this and it'll actually go down as you can see. So it it actually seems like the uh, water is falling down. But this is actually in chunks. So I'm just going to go on to the metabol. And I'm going to increase, decrease the half value just like that. So it actually sticks on together just like that. So you just increase the value. And you can see that it looks more like a liquid, liquid flowing down now, just like this. So let me just change the emitter right here. So let me just change its direction right over here, just like this. I'm going to change it up. And you can see that this is how it works like now. So you got the source over here and then everything out. So let me just go on to the beginning. So it looks like this, just like that. You can see that it really looks like the liquid is flowing down over here. Now I'm going to uh, change the settings over here on under the emitter. So uh, let's go to the gravity right here. And this is the acceleration. So if I were to decrease this out, you'll be able to see different effects. So let's say around 30 right here. So you can see that it actually flows along just like that. There's more force onto this and the liquid is actually traveling just like this. So let me go over here and you can see that how the gravity flow actually works in. So it is taking some time for my computer to process it. So uh, let me just change the detail level of the emitter right here. I can see that it looks really cool just like that. So let me just go over here under uh, uh, the metabol. I'm going to decrease the subdivision over here. So let me just decrease the subdivision. I mean increase the subdivision so it actually is just like this. So it actually looks uh, just like a plane just like that. So you can see that it's kind of like a water flowing down. So you can see over here from the beginning and that actually goes around. So I'm really working with the low poly model right here. I just want a bit of a detail as well, just like that. And on the spear, 
I can increase and decrease the segments, I can increase and decrease the radius. So you can see that that really affects the liquid out right over there, just like that. I'm going to go over to the gravity now. Let's say I'm going to do something like 70 and you can see that uh, it actually pulls out just like that. So uh, there's a bit of a problem going on right here. So you can work around now. I'm going to uh, decrease the subdivision right here. So you can see that there's uh, more detail onto this just like that. So let me just increase it out just like that. So there's the liquid flow as you can see over here. So once everything is done, you can actually add in materials onto the emitter. So I'm just going to add the um, material onto the emitter. You can actually go over here uh, and you can also add in an environment onto this. So you can add something like a physical sky. So let's see how this renders out. We are just going to render one frame onto this. So I'm going to go over here onto the sphere and then I'm going to go on to my material right here, I'm going to add in a basic, I'm going to add in transparency right over here, and I'm going to add in a reflection as well. So I'm going to go add over here, I'm going to add in a, a let's say a Beckman, so it actually looks reflective. I'm going to pause this out over here and drag in the material on uh, to the sphere right over here. So it actually looks like um, uh, that. So I'm going to go over here onto the sphere. Let me just render that out and see how that looks like. So it has been, hasn't been been applied applied yet. So let me uh, just add it to the metaball itself. Yeah, that works out well. So I'm going to add it to the metaball and you can see that this looks like a liquid right over here. And if I were to press Control R, uh, you'll be able to see that it looks more like a water just like that. So once I render everything out, you can see that it looks like a water flow. So once you animate this, you can see that it really looks like a liquid right there. And this is one of, we, one of the ways to create the liquid inside of Cinema 4D. And like I said, you, you cannot create a very detailed level of liquid over here. Uh, uh, um, un, uh, unlike uh, the real flow application that you can use. But anyways, if you want to quickly get things done, then you can do this. So that is how you can create a simple liquid simulation inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.